Hello class, this is Mr. Perez again. I'm going to go over the project about the typographic portrait. In this case, I imported a picture of Linda Carter, also known as Wonder Woman. She was huge back in the 70s. To bring the photo, I went to File, Place, and then I clicked there and I followed through to my file. I brought it into Illustrator and I resize it. That document itself, I did it as a layer all by itself, and it's this layer that you see here. I got a lock right now, so I don't click on it by accident. I kind of lock it here, then I'll be able to click on it. If you notice the picture is kind of in a light color, that's because the opacity, which is here, or you can also call it here, is down to 50%. If I set it to 100, you will see the full picture. But it's kind of difficult to work on the portrait that way. So I've been working on this picture for a while now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start opening the layers. So you see each letter as I place them. Now for this project, I want you to use big, bold letters, not a bunch of tiny little letters. We're not doing uh, like a stipple drawing. We don't want that. We want big letters because the ultimate goal of this project is to learn about type. Also, in Illustrator, I like to use the character menu. You can go to Window, Type, Character, or Command T on the Mac to call this menu up. The advantage of this menu is that it lets you see different characters, the different typefaces. And also, menu, another menu that I also like a lot, sorry, is the Glyph menu, which let me see everything regarding a typeface. Sometimes you might find letters in a different script, like in Russian or something, or who knows, Greek, that it might be good for your project because it will look more like some of the shapes you're trying to copy. The thing about this project, what you don't want to do is to damage letters, to resize them. I'm going to do an example of what you're not supposed to be doing when you do this, and it's to call a letter up, let's say uh, the letter D, and then when you start working with the D, I don't want you to squeeze it that way to make it fit. If you do that, you're distorting the text. That's a major no-no here, because we want to learn about letter form. I've already worked for a while on this project, and if you see, I got a bunch of layers. This is about an hour's work. So now I'm just going to click on it so you can see my process. This is the way I start creating these things. And what I do a lot when I'm working on this project is to hide the main layer once in a while to see if I'm actually getting some kind of a resemblance to the model. In this case, Linda Carter. So as you can see now, I got a bunch of big letters, which is great. Now for the project itself, you're allowed to use little letters maybe on a path, but just for about 20% of the image. You don't want to go over that. Just to help you with those really hard to do shapes. I'm going to do some of that around here. And to do that is quite easy. It's really nice to do. And remember, just do a little bit. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to take, um, I can use the pencil tool. I'm going to make sure that the stroke is black and that there's no fill on it. Then I can just draw a line like so. Take the type tool, make sure that my type is not a huge size. I want to use type on a smaller size. I'm just going to write a few letters here. So let me go for something like 12, 14 points. Actually, I pick 14 points. Then I can start typing right here. Uh, what should I type? Linda Carter is the best. And I can see now, I can't see my letters anymore. That's because the line is too small for it. So I could make the letters smaller, that's an option that I have. Instead of 14, I can go to like, let's say 10 points. 
And I'm gonna keep the word best just a little larger. And now if you see, I'm gonna zoom in. You can see that I actually type in a path here. Okay, I'm gonna do some of that also on the cheek here. So I'm gonna draw another line like so. You see the line? And then I'm gonna take the type tool and gonna write uh, Wonder Woman. And what else should I write? I could also write Linda Carter. Okay, because these are her cheeks, I don't want these letters to be so dark. So what I'm gonna do is their fill, I double click on the fill area. I wanna make them of a lighter gray. I can pick that there, or I can go to the swatches here. Maybe I can do it like a 50%. Actually, I'm gonna go lighter, maybe like a 40% gray. And it's hard to see here, but if I get rid of the photo, you can see it better. So now my Wonder Woman is almost finished. All I have to do now is to do the lips. And again, I'm trying to find a shape that I'm comfortable with. I look at the lips here and I go, you know, that looks like a capital D. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I click option on the zoom tool, which is a magnifying tool, just to have a better view. I type out of my area here. And I'm gonna type uppercase D. And I'm using right now Charter, seems to work fine. I'm gonna stretch it, and when I stretch this letter, I keep pressing the shift key at the same time to avoid distortions on the type. And I go, you know, this is quite nice. And, whoops, I'm moving the wrong letters here. There we go, I can resize it. Always pressing shift and I can rotate the letter to make it fit. For this project, you can use um, black or you can use grays, which is really less black. I don't want you guys to use color at all. But this is the basic for your assignments. And again, you want big, bold letters. Avoid those tiny little letters. Once you're done with your project, you said, okay, I'm finished. You guys need to hide the lower layer, okay? In my case, this is not done yet. For example, I could really, really fix this like so. Remember the arrow tools, I can actually move it. Uh, and then you're going to save two versions of it as you're instructed. One of them is going to be the Illustrator. So you just go File, Save, and then you save it with your first initial, last name, and the number according to the project. And then you're gonna send, also make another copy. And to make copies of this in different formats, like let's say a JPEG or a PDF, or whatever format you've been asked, you go to File, Export. And once you're in Export, you change from PNG to uh, whatever you were asked. Maybe you were asked to do a PDF if you're gonna submit it on Blackboard. So then you will go to PDF, or in this case, you can do it as a TIFF, or you can do it as any of this format here, like JPEG. Illustrator have several ways to save your document. So if you go save as, then here you can find the PDF. It's kind of confusing because other programs like Photoshop, which is also Adobe, have different choices in different places. So you kind of have to look for it. And this is all you have to do for your project. If you have any questions, please let me know.